So, for some time now, Boogie2988 and Frank Hassel YT has had this little bit of a beef going on. Well, let's get into this. We have this lovely array here that they're talking back and forth and uh, you know I'm guessing someone here deleted their well someone here was deleting their tweets and uh, from what I understand the reason this started and this is just hearsay on this is supposedly Boogie had Frank's channel uh, banned well Frank there are only one entity can take down your channel that's YouTube not boogie not h3h3 not tipster not anyone else no one can take down your channel but YouTube you were kicked off the platform because of what you were doing you're violating the rules man it's not boogie's fault but for my from what I understand that's the reason for this started well, this has escalated over the months. There's been interviews with Boogie and Frank going back and forth. And for whatever reason, you thought it would be a good idea, not only, to, not only to go to Boogie's town, that's fine, but why are you doing this now? What are you, 10 years old? I'm in Fayetteville. Why? You know, that's a threat, you little moron. It's a threat. And Keem, when Keem says this is crazy, you know you're, oh, Frank Hassel, undefeated. Yeah, you're defeated, all right. You're, you're, you're booted off a platform because you're a moron. Now, if this is true, Frank Hassel is on Scott right now. This is five minutes away from you right now. That's, dude, that is a threat. I'm five minutes away from you right now. Especially when you two have been arguing. Have had disagreements. That's called a threat. So, you know, I mean, like I said, that's, it's not a problem. Go have fun with your friends. That's great. Whatever. Don't be taunting this guy. Leave, friend, leave other people alone. What the fuck's wrong with you? Twisted and unchained. Did you... No, he is preparing to defend himself from a threat. It's what any normal pers person would do. See right here. This isn't a joke. It's not funny. This is some serious stuff. And look where we end up. And no, you didn't do that. So now uh, let's take a listen to this. This is not a troll. This is not a joke. Boogie2988 fired a gun at Frank Castle. All right, I just got off the phone with Boogie. It was, in fact, Frank Castle, according to Boogie, that showed up to his property. He wasn't at the street. He was on his property in front of the door. Boogie says he has footage of Frank showing up to his door. Also, Frank had a GoPro on his head, so Frank has footage of Boogie. Boogie grabbed his gun, according to Boogie. He fired a warning shot and... What is wrong with this whole situation? Frank, what the hell's wrong with you? You don't go showing up at people's houses. Oh, you're being judgmental. Yeah. This is exactly the reason why YouTube has the policies that it does. Like Frank, going after someone else. It escalates, and I don't mean verbally i mean with a, a gun because you're now on boogie's property what the heck's wrong with you frank what is seriously mentally wrong with you you wonder why you're off youtube come on really dude you think this is a good idea you two have had been having beef over twitter for quite some time now. You thought this was a really good idea. No. 
where I think Keemstar gets it wrong is to make Boogie look bad? No. Boogie is going to defend himself. And I absolutely do not blame Boogie. This this thing is a, a nut job. He is nuts. In my lifetime, the biggest mistake this, this nation has ever done during the Reagan administration was he had a lot the overwhelming majority of the mental health facilities, insane asylums, shut down. Because, oh, we have these drugs now. People just take these drugs and they'll be fine. How'd that work out? Where's the gun at, you fat shit? All right, well, cool, man. Let me make it very clear. You should be very glad you didn't step on my property. I don't blame Boogie. Do you blame anybody here? Blame Boogie for saying that. Anybody, show up on my yard, you're going to find out what happens. There's six feet of the front of everyone's property that's called an easement. If you, if somebody wants to protest in somebody's house, that's where you can be. You can be within that six feet. After that six feet, you're now trespassing. I tell you to get off the property, you don't get off the property, you're now in violation of the law. You're obviously an adult start acting like one don't do this harassment you got your channel deleted off of YouTube because of the videos you do you oh it's Boogie's fault it's Boogie's fault boo hoo Boogie did this to me no you did it to yourself and I absolutely don't blame Boogie at all threaten anybody you are mentally ill. You have a mental illness or deficiency that needs corrected. You need to be put into a mental facility if the situation were reversed. And let's say it was Boogie harassing you online. And then Boogie shows up at your house. Of course, you're gonna defend yourself. You're gonna defend your home. You're gonna defend your family the people that you love and care about. You don't do what you did. You were removed off of YouTube because of the videos that you would do. I sincerely hope that you never find a girlfriend and have an opportunity to reproduce. Honestly. And I hope the cops come and find you and throw you in a nice big padded cell. The guy is saying, if you find, if you find you on his property, he's going to end you. And you laugh. What the hell is wrong with you? It's, dude, you really need help. You need to see a psychiatrist, psychologist. You need to be put on medications, 24 hours supervision, uh, thrown into a padded cell. Because there's something really, really wrong with you. That's not cute. It's not funny. You've driven someone to this point, okay? And you think it's funny. And then when the shoe's on the other foot, you gonna laugh there, big boy? I don't think so. You're gonna defend yourself, you're gonna defend your property. Saying every couple of days, there's a reckoning coming, action will be taken. Do you that's fucking right. understand that's harassment? Now, where Boogie's wrong here in his defense, that's not harassment. That's a threat. That's a threat. Fortunately, for guys like Frank in this country, our court system, our justice system, is reactionary, not precautionary. Because if our justice system was precautionary, as soon as you made that threat, all Boogie would have needed to do was go to the police and say, arrest or he threatened me. Here's the... DMs, here's your, uh, you know, here's evidence, here's the proof you need. Go arrest this moron. The police can trace the messages, make sure that they're valid. And guess what, Frank? Your butt would be sitting in jail. This is the, you're not a little kid where this stuff gets expunged from your record. You're an adult. This is going to be with you for the rest of your life. Okay, because I'm sure Boogie has more than enough on you 
that anything that goes through criminal courts, you're going to be sitting in their jail being Bubba's little play toy. That could, you're going to be laughing then? Of you threatening me, yes. All of this was triggered by a Twitter post. Of you traveling to my hometown to fucking post three miles from my house that you were coming to get me. Yeah, Frank. Generally, when you buy a home, that's a matter of public record. So, yeah, that's searchable online, unfortunately. My purview, my view on this, you should have, it should be public record, but you have to get up off your butt and actually go down to your local city hall to find out that it, it should not be searchable online at all. And it starts over, think about this. And I'm asking everybody to let this sit in. This is over a Twitter post. You're going to show up to somebody's town and threaten, threaten to go to somebody's house over a Twitter post. It started with, he called me a bad name, boo-hoo. You will never hold a job not working with the public. You will never hold a job working with the public. You won't. You're absolutely in the wrong here. There is no context. There's no kind of taking it out of context. There's no context, context where anything that you've done is gonna look good for you. And if somebody, if Boogie was doing this to you, you would react the same fucking way and you're over here laughing about it. What is wrong with you, dude? I'd really like to know. Because there's something missing up here in your head. That you think that this is a good thing. You got your subreddit deleted? Boogie is, doesn't work for Reddit either. So if he flagged you, well, obviously they found information in there that they didn't want on their platform and you weren't monitoring your subreddit. So of course it's gonna get wiped out. Same thing with YouTube with your videos. You're lucky that Twi Twitter is a little bit more forgiving. Maybe you might not have a Twitter tomorrow because I was able to verify that you don't have a YouTube channel anymore. And thankfully you don't. We don't need morons having access to people over the internet. Yes, I What's am. Surprise, one? surprise. The guy with mental health issues after being harassed for three months by fucking pussy ass got a little unhinged. Who's fucking surprised? That's not being unhinged. That's a reasonable response. Somebody's harassing you on and on for three months. You know, you do. Now, where I will fault, Boogie, is you quite frankly and simply you know Twitter has this amazing thing it's called block he can't see anything you tweet you can't see anything he tweets and that's the same thing Frank should have done you block each other that's it when it goes to this uh, long before this level you block each other what the heck's wrong with you I was growing up see that door right there if I'd locked that door, I got yelled at. We didn't lock our doors when I was growing up. Damn right we do now. And guess what? There's a surveillance system. The cameras around my house. My neighbors have cameras around their houses too. And guess what? All the cameras overlap. So let's say someone takes out my set of cameras. Guess what? One of my six neighbors gonna have some footage they're gonna have footage that's where we're at now as a society because of absolute trash like this who's laughing if you threaten someone and you and they retaliate and you laugh about it something mentally wrong with you it's not the other person it's you
You think you're some big man or something? I don't know what the heck's going wrong in your head. But it definitely is there. And nobody, absolutely nobody, needs to harass anybody. Period. I didn't like your tweet. Take a pill and go over it. There's lots of stuff I t tweets I don't like. Guess what? I just keep scrolling. Beef. You know, I mean, I don't know if there's there's necessarily legitimate beef. You know, I've I've read a lot about Boogie online, and I don't have legitimate beef with Boogie, but you're doing this. Boogie is the one that's mentally deficient. No. You're mentally deficient, dude. There, there's real. I'm serious. There is something wrong with you. There is something seriously wrong with you. Well, I don't necessarily have a beef with him. What? You better have a huge beef with him. You're pulling this crap. I'm down for anything that's funny, and this is hilarious. This guy is I am an unwitting person. This is funny. I think it's funny. I think it's hilarious. Do you find getting shot at funny, Frank? Was that a, was that just, no. That's a, there's a reason why so, every social media site nowadays very carefully polices what is on their platforms. That when it's reported, it's taken very seriously. And yeah, one person reporting it really isn't going to do anything. But a dozen people... 50 people, 100 people report it, it's going down. It's going to be removed off their platform. I think it's funny. And, and that's the thing that is disturbing. That you think it's funny to do this to someone else. You think that's... And you have all these allegations with not a shred of evidence to back it up with. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The court of public opinion is a kangaroo court. In the court of public opinion, facts don't matter. You could, just because somebody, and we, I've, I've seen it all over the place. No evidence of anything. Just because somebody agrees with what somebody says, they repost it as if it's fact, when it's not. Frank, grow up. Seriously, grow up. Stop messing with people. Nobody needs or wants that. So now you're acting like this man baby, and I use man in the loosest definition of the term, because you, nobody paid attention to you when you were a child. So I'm going to be a, a big boy. I'm going to be on YouTube and, and Reddit, this, that, and the other thing. And I'm going to be a big celebrity. Me, 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 me. So people pay attention to me. No, yeah, people paid attention to you. That's why you got banned. Because you want to be this little man baby. And think, think threatening someone else is funny. When the shoe is on the other foot, you ain't gonna be laughing there, little boy. Boogie does not have access to any type of control panel within YouTube to type in Frank Hassel, Hassel, whatever, however you pronounce your name, YT, click delete. Boogie does not have that. Neither does Keemstar. Neither does H3H3. PewDiePie does not have that. So the fact that that is what you believe. Now, now maybe you think that's the way YouTube works, but it's not. Somebody review. Let's say Boogie flagged you. And let's say YouTube then reviewed your channel the videos that you were uploading and they said, uh, it's banned. 
It's still YouTube doing it. It has nothing to do with Boogie. It has to do with YouTube doing it. Anybody thinks it's cute or joke to show up to somebody's home after threatening them online, harassing them online. Don't. It's not cute. It's not funny. For your mental health. The, like I say, there's reasons why platforms have a block button that you can block stuff like this. Admittedly, Boogie and Frank could have ended this three months ago by utilizing that button on their social media. Let's say Boogie did do that. He flagged your subreddit and he flagged your YouTube channel. And they reviewed your Reddit and your YouTube channel. YouTube determined that the videos that you're uploading were not appropriate for their platform. Reddit determined that what was posted there was not appropriate for their platform. And that's what they decided. And that is on you, not on Boogie. Don't show up to people's houses. If you have beef with somebody online, resolve it online or block each other. It's not worth this. It's not worth it getting to this level. It's not at all. This could have turned out very differently. If Boogie would have, well, Boogie should have never fired a bullet up in the air. Never do that because you don't know where that bullet's going to land. Never do that. If Boogie would have pulled the trigger, I wouldn't have, make that, have made this video addressing you. Don't do this. And yes, this is your fault because you're the one that showed up to Boogie's house. But he antagonized me. So what? You don't go that far. That's a line that you do not cross. Unbelievable. But as I said, do not go harassing either one of these guys. Don't go after Boogie. Don't go after Frank. Just leave it be. The police are involved and they'll sort it out. I'm sure there's going to be updates. Have a wonderful day, everyone.